Let's see how to add custom tools to Minecraft. All right, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more. And in this tutorial, we're going to be adding custom tools to Minecraft. Now, this is actually a fairly straightforward process. However, what we're going to need once more, if you've seen the last two tutorials, we're going to need some custom classes once again. So we're going to start by adding these classes in our item custom package. And then let's just go right click new Java class called the mod axe item. And this will extend the axe item class and we'll hover over this create constructor matching super. And then we're going to change this to public. Let's ignore all of the stuff that we're seeing here for the time being. Let's just create those classes. No worries at all. Mod whole item. This extends the whole item class. And once again, we're going to hover over this create constructor matching super and a public. There you go. Right click new Java class called the mod pickaxe item. And this is going to extend the pickaxe item. Once again, hover over create constructor matching super and make this public. There you go. All right. And actually those three are all of the classes that we're going to need. So let's go into our mod items class and let's just copy the grape ones for the time being. And we're going to make a mithril underscore, let's say sword. We're going to start with the sword and we're going to say mithril underscore sword. And this is a sword item. So we actually have access to this. And now we can see we need three or rather four parameters. So we need tool material, attack damage, attack speed, and the settings. Now, what is a tool material? Well, I mean, let's just take a look. So press shift twice and let's put in the tool material, making sure that we're right it correctly. There you go. We can see there's a tool material interface and there's also a tool materials class. This is an enum. And you can see this one right here. We basically want to build our own custom mod tool materials because of course, well, we need a custom material. So in our item package, right click new Java class called the mod tool materials. And this will actually implement the tool material interface right here from net Minecraft item. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, well, have this open. So once again, either you can take a look at the GitHub repository and individual just as well to copy some stuff over there, or you can open the tool materials class, just like I did by right? pressing shift twice, looking for tool materials, making sure that include a non-project items is checked. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to copy over the entirety of this and we're just going to paste it in right here. And we should get some errors. That's no worries at all because this is now a class, but we want to make this an enum. Now, what we also need to do is change the name here to mod tool materials. And then all of the errors should go away. And the really cool thing is that now you also have all of the values available for all of the different materials. What are the actual values? How are they changed? And then we can also say, well, what do we want to change them to? So I actually want to change the gold here to mithril. Now the mining level of this is actually going to be iron. The durability is going to be a little bit more. So let's say more towards between iron and diamond. So let's say something like 560 mining speed, maybe a little bit less. The attack damage is going to be sort of two, let's say, yeah, 2.5, something like that. So a little better than an iron, but not as good as diamond. And then the enchantability, maybe 24. This is a magical item. And then here, instead of having the repair ingredient be gold, this is of course mod items, mithril ingot. There you go. And then the rest can be deleted. So what's very important is that once I delete all of the rest, you can see that we have to end this with a semicolon. If you have another tool material, so I can duplicate this, for example, then they are separated by commas, as you can see. So what's very important is that each individual is separated by comma. If you only have one, then you end it with a semicolon. So that's a normal enum, should be fairly self-explanatory, pretty much basic Java. But still, I wanted to mention it because some people have had some issues with that. Right, so this is pretty much the entire class. So that's all that we need to do. We can also just get rid of the imports that weren't used. And then we can supply this right here. So mod tool materials dot mithril. And then we have the attack damage and the attack speed. The attack damage should be an integer, yes, and the speed is a float, so this should be fine. Uh, this is basically additional attack speed and additional attack damage. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to copy this five times, and then let's go through all of the different, well, all of our different tools that we can have. Mithril Axe, and this is going to be a Mithril Axe, making sure we write it correctly. This is a mod Axe item in this case, and then maybe this has higher damage but lower speed, something like this. So once again, what's very important for the numbers is that you just try out a bunch of values, right? So you never know what values you really want. 
uh, depending on how many different tools and how many different tool materials you have, you're going to have to play around with the numbers anyway. So no worries there. So this is going to be a mod hole item. Mithril hole, mithril hole. Let's just put in a zero and a zero because let's be honest, the hole is kind of useless. So let's do a mithril shovel here and a mithril shovel over here as well. So this is going to be a shovel item because we can actually access that for whatever reason as well. Let's just do something like this. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the mithril pickaxe. And that's going to be the mithril pickaxe here as well. And this is a mod pickaxe item. Let's just say with something like this, maybe one damage more, but the speed is going to be the same. Now, what's very important is that we actually get rid of this food here because we should not be able to eat this. That would be kind of fatal. And I mean, also kind of funny, if I'm absolutely honest. But of course, those should not be food items. Let's first of all then go to the e underscore us json file before we add all of the rest. And let's just add the translations right here. So there you go. All of the translations successfully added. And then we only need the item models. Once again, I will copy those over. However, those are of course all available to you in the description below. We have a GitHub repository and also individual gists as well. So no worries at all. There you go, all five of them. Now what's important here is actually the parent for those. So those all have the same parent, but the parent needs to be item slash handheld so that you get the 3D look when you're in third person. So that's kind of important. So please note that. Otherwise, we also just have the textures. So the item textures, we're just going to copy those over as well. There you go. Oh, let's actually first of all fix this little typo here. It's not an axe, it's an axe. And then... We have added everything, so let's see if it works. All right, we find ourselves back in Minecraft, and as you can see, all of the tools have been successfully added to the game, so let's also see if they work. I can right-click with the hoe. I can also right-click with the shovel. The mithril axe should also strip stuff. There you go, and when I switch to survival mode, they will also work very well on the, well, particular items that they should work on, so everything working great, and also what we can see is that if I, for example, put down some of the ore blocks, those were, well, supposed to be only mined with iron level. And of course, we have defined mithril as iron level. So there you go. The block drops actually also work the loot tables just as we would expect them to. So literally everything working just as we would want. Let's just see if the sword is also great, but I'm sure it is. There you go. Also working absolutely fine. So that's actually how easy it is to add the tools to Minecraft. Right, once again, everything is available to you in the description below, GitHub repository and individual gists as well. Otherwise, this would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would very much appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.